Now that you know how to make your pinch pot, we're gonna make a piggy bank. So it's basically taking two pinch pots and attaching them together like so to make the body. And then we are add all of our attachments just as we did before. So although we call them piggy banks, you can make whatever you want. And here's a couple examples of things that have been made in the past. So you're gonna get a new chunk of clay and we need to do the same thing as we did with the pinch pots and getting all the air bubbles out. So you'll do this again for the five minutes, which I've already done with this. And instead of just taking one chunk of clay, you're going to take two chunks of clay, same size as the pinch pot size was. So it should be a ball that's about this size, fits in the palm of your hand. Again, you need two of them that are the exact same size. So when you look at them side by side, they should look about the exact same size. You'll set that down, put your extra clay into your bag so it doesn't dry out. Make sure to keep your hands nice and moist so you don't you avoid cracks. And you're going to pick up the first chunk and you are going to do a pinch pot just like we did when we made our pinch pots um, with the project before. So consistently about a quarter of an inch thick all the way around. Work your way up towards the top and you want to be real careful towards the top that you don't go too thin because we're going to score the top of this area to attach to the other bowl. So we need to have some thickness there. So I've got this bowl done. I'm going to set that down and now I'm going to take this chunk of clay and I'm going to make another bowl and my goal is to make the mouths of the bowl the exact same size. So I'm going to push my thumb in. keeping it cupped in my hand. Better to go smaller than too big. You can always widen it a little later if you needed to. All right, so now I have two bowls and I wanna see that they're about the same size. So I'm just gonna kind of measure them. One of them's a little bigger, so I'm just gonna smush around this edge here to widen that out. And I will check my measurements again. All right, so now they about are the same size. So what I want to do is get a nice flat surface here by lightly tapping them on the table. Then I'm going to score just how we scored all of our attachments on our other project. Really rough up the clay. Okay, now I don't want to set it down like this because that'll smush all of my scoring, so I'm just going to set it to its side. And I'm going to score the other side of my bowl, or my other bowl. And then I need to do the slip part of it. And so when I'm adding the slip, I'm just going to think of it like a clock and go 12 o'clock. I'm doing it upside down. 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Little drip of water. I'm going to stick these together. Kind of smush them all in. Okay. And now I have this kind of egg shaped football looking lumpy piece of um, clay. So I'm going to take my welding tool and I'm going to get rid of the seam just by welding out whichever one overlaps more. You can change the direction. And then I'm just going to use my thumbs to kind of smooth out all of that welding. And now I still have the lumpiness, so I'm just going to kind of manipulate the air inside the ball to become a little bit more like a ball. And now I have my ball. It's still pretty lumpy, so what I'm going to want to do is use a paddle or some um, flat surface here and just kind of start lightly tapping around my clay to get all those lumps out. This is going to kind of even it out. I've got a big one here so I'm just going to use my welding tool kind of weld that in and then use my paddle to smooth it all out. So I would continue doing this until it was really nice and smoothed out. Use my fingers to smooth out any cracks that I might have. And then I'm ready to add my attachments. So I'm going to come to my extra clay. 
And because you already know how to do all the scoring and the slipping and the welding, I'm not going to go through that whole process again. But you do want to add on all of your attachments. And again, anything you attach, it will be score, slipped, and welded. Okay, so here's my feet. I'd score them, slip them, weld them onto my project. Okay, make some eyes. Use my scoring tool to help embellish the features. Okay, maybe use my welding tool for the mouth. And now I've got my ears, everything, again, score slipped and welded on. Now I'm ready to do the tail. Now when you do a tail, the pig's tails always look so cute when they're all nice and, you know, small and they stick off like this. Chances of this making it through firing are very small. So you want to make sure that you're attaching something to the body of the bowl or the um, bank or make it almost like a little spirally kind of looks like a rattlesnake coil. I'm just going to roll it, coil it around, and you could attach that on. Then it's going to have a little bit more structure and stability. Now I'm ready to add my money hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly draw it on using my scoring tool. If I don't like it, I can rub it out and redraw it, maybe a little thinner. Once I do like it, I'm just going to poke all the way through and cut out the inside. You want to pull the inside out. If you drop it in there, you can try and fish it out or you can leave it in there and your bank will always have a little jingle jangle in there. Now I'm going to use just the edge of my scoring tool to smooth out the sides. Take a little bit of water, smooth out the top, kind of manipulate that. See, it wasn't scored on there. Once I'm all done, then I'm going to go through and I'm going to smooth out all of my rough edges, all my cracks and things like that. Then I'm going to flip it over, write my name and my period number, and I would be ready to put it on the cart to dry.